For the second exercise of the chapter, we're going to add some functionality to the student class that we didn't include when we had implemented the class back in the lessons. So I've pulled up the file that had the student class definition. And the first thing let's do is let's save it as a new file. Go to computer. We're in Python 3.0. There we go. And we're going to call it student1.py. Change this to all files, like so. The first bit of functionality we want to add is a two-string method. So we write def two underscores str, two more underscores, and self as the parameter. And then what we want to do is we're going to put some field headings, for lack of a better term, here. So we're going to say return name plus self name plus a new line and then we want to continue this string on the next line so we'll put a backslash right here let's scoot over to here then we'll have their students ID displayed next plus a new line and we want to go down to the next line now we want to add the students grades so here we're going to call the show grades method inside to string which works just fine and that will display the students grades out beside the heading grades as we have right here so let's test that we'll stick with what we have here and let's change this line to print stu1 so we'll save the file type student1.py and so there's the name Jones, there's the ID 123, and there are the grades 88, 84, and 91. So let's go back to the file, and now let's add one more method, and let's compute the average of the student's grades. So here we're going to create a total variable, set it to zero, then we're going to loop through the grades, taking each grade and adding it to the total. And then to return the average, we're going to return the total divided by the length of grades, which will be the number of grades in the list. So let's do a print average and then string stu1 average, just like so. Save the file. Run the program again. We have some illegal syntax. I'm sure I know what the problem is. I left off the closing parenthesis. So let's save. Okay, we're going to stick with this problem, and I see what I did wrong. Just trying to work through here very quickly. I forgot to reference the class using self. And that's a common mistake that you're going to make. I shouldn't have made it since I did reference it correctly there. But we get patterns in our head. And I am so used to working with data structures outside of a class that I'll sometimes forget to put the self dot before that. So let's try it again. Now let's clear the screen and type student1.py. And that time it worked just fine. So again, to summarize, what we did for this exercise is we added two methods. First, we added a two-string method that displays the name, the ID, and the grades with helpful headings to let the user know what they're looking at. We certainly didn't have to use those, but it comes in handy to display the information in a way that you can understand. And then we created an average method that takes all the grades in the student object and returns the total. And with that, we're finished with this introductory chapter on object-oriented programming, and we're ready to move to the next chapter where we're going to discuss inheritance.